Okay, it's February 18th, 2015. The supervisor and I are on the road to the girls' hockey state tournament. As usual, the outdoor temperature right now is minus 12. But more so than Arizona, we have a bright, sunshiny day as you always do when the temperature is below zero. I hope they have a little something from our radio station pretty soon. See what we got going on here. For two eighty nine a month for thirty six months with nineteen fifty nine to its signing tax title license extra based on standard pickup class. So far, they're still in ads. For the old home folks of the old days, here we're driving by Victoria Heights. Pickup must be registered to consumer at least thirty days prior to lease. Twenty five cent charge for each mile over thirty thousand. Residency restrictions apply. Take delivery by three two. Ram is a registered trademark of FCA US LLC. And now back, pedal to the metal to Osakis. In my day, we got our kick sitting on flag poles in blizzards. You could win a thousand dollars a day, every day, for the rest of your life. You know what else thrills us? The polio. Yeah, Lake Victoria. Folks never experience a thrill like this. And some fish houses out there. A day riding roller coasters was thrilling. Twelve below zero, probably have twelve feet of ice out there. Like the rest of the country, we haven't had much snow at all this winter. Pretty arid and cold. At Dental Health Associates, we love your stories. During a quiet church service, an older gentleman received an unexpected hug from his girlfriend. Much to his surprise, his denture popped out. The denture clattered across the hardwood floor and came to a stop a few feet away. With a red face, the gentleman retrieved his dentures, looked up, and everyone was looking. By Weston Station. He explained how a dental implant is attached and it would never just pop out. This gentleman, though at the young age of 92, felt it was worth it. He got the implants and he never looked back. He never had to worry again. No more popping out. I'm Dr. Tim at Dental Health Associates. Dr. Art and I can help you too. Over the years, Dental Health Associates has made more people smile than anyone else. Dental Health Associates, dentalhealthmn.com. Matthew Jensen ad for Broadway Bistro. We were just there last night having a Native American meal. Stay in touch with upcoming events at BroadwayBistroAlley.com. Remember, local always and organic whenever possible because it does matter where your food comes from. <laughs> in the news, President Obama is hosting a summit on countering a violent extremism today. The White House says the summit will highlight domestic and international efforts to prevent violent extremism. And now we have Patty Wicken with the news. Maybe she'll give us a weather report here soon. ISIS trained U.S. fighters who return to America keep him awake at night. Holder said he is very worried about self-radicalized lone wolves here in the U.S. Attorney General Holder is calling for a national moratorium on the death penalty. Holder said at the National Press Club Tuesday he wants all states to put executions on hold until the Supreme Court rules in a capital punishment case later this year. The courts agreed. Okay, we've made it to Nelson, okay. Challenging Oklahoma's lethal injection procedures. The University of Massachusetts is keeping Iranian students out of certain science and engineering programs. The university's decision is setting off charges of discrimination and complaints from students who say it could hurt the school's reputation. UMass administrators decided last week to stop admitting Iranian nationals to support the government's efforts to keep Iran from developing nuclear weapons. The new policy goes beyond a 
2012 federal law that barred Iranians from studying in the U.S. if they intend to work in the nuclear or energy fields. The family of a Las Vegas woman killed in a road rage shooting last week is defending what she did. Dozens gathered Tuesday night for a memorial vigil at the local high school where Tammy Myers was said to have been teaching her daughter to drive. Earlier, Las Vegas Metro Police revealed that Myers had returned home after the incident and got her son before they went back out. Police say after sh uh, Myers and her son returned home, someone pulled up and shot her. Myers died Saturday after being taken off life support. Police are still searching for one or more suspects. Boston's mayor is trying to stop trying to stop snow-crazed residents from jumping out of windows into massive snow piles. The stunt has been trending on social media using the hashtag Boston Blizzard Challenge. Mayor Martin Walsh is calling on Bostonians to stop this nonsense and act responsibly, noting potential dangers. Boston has received over seven feet of snow in the past few weeks. Losing weight might be as simple as eating more fiber. Researchers at the University of Massachusetts put 240 adults on a high-fiber diet and told them to increase their fiber intake by at least 30 grams a day. They could eat whatever they wanted as long as they kept increasing their fiber intake. After 12 months on the high-fiber diet, the study, subject, the study subjects lost more than 4.5 pounds on average. They also had lower blood pressure and better resistance to insulin. Millions of Christians are observing Ash Wednesday today. The day is the start of the Lent season, leading to Easter Sunday on April 5th. Catholics, Methodists, Lutherans, Anglicans, and Presbyterians will mark the day with ceremonies in which they get an ash cross on their foreheads or are sprinkled with ash over their heads. Catholics and Anglicans uh, typically fast on Ash Wednesday. That's our World and National News this morning here on KXRA. Sports is coming up. The United Way Beer and Wine Tasting Gala is Friday. Okay, we'll, we'll sign off with Patty there. I guess we didn't get to the weather report, but it's not getting any warmer out here. We'll see you at the X. Alex plays Red Wing at 1 o'clock this afternoon.